Hi, this is More Game Music. I'm Brian. Welcome to the YouTube channel. We're down here in the basement uh, workspace. We're going to show you a couple products today and compare with some traditional methods. This is the Music Nomad uh, fret guards for fret polishing. This is the Frine fret polish, and we're going to compare it to using just steel wool. My patient today is this. It's a USA Fender neck. It's been around for a long time. I have no idea where this actually came from. But the frets are pretty pretty gnarly. Um, we've seen worse come in, but we've definitely seen cleaner. And we can get this cleaned up really nicely. The thing I want to go over is Frine versus steel wool. Steel wool is very traditional. If you know about steel wool, you know only use quadruple O steel wool. That's the kind of finest that you'll probably ever find. Um, but steel wool has its problems. It will leave uh, iron tailings, iron shavings on uh, your work surfaces. They'll get into your polish cloth pretty soon. You're polishing your guitar with a uh, bit of steel sandpaper. It's not a good idea. Um, the shavings can also get in around the pickups, which is also not a good idea. So if we can get just as good a results out of the Music Nomad Frying, this is definitely the stuff to use. So let's sit down at the bench and I'll show you what we got going on. Okay, so here's the neck. The frets are definitely grungy. Um, they're fairly consistently grungy, so we'll use this as our test subject. Um, what, what I'll probably do is, I know I've got a crayon around here, yeah. So we'll do like these three as just steel wool. One, two, three, we'll do those three as just frying and one, two, three. We'll do those three as steel wool, then frying as a as a finishing step. We'll see how well this actually works out. Now, first three, just steel wool. One of the reasons that I really like the Music Nomad um, fret guards is that you can just lay them down one-handed. There are some out there that have like a little notch here and a little rubber band that slips underneath and then once you get up here it's kind of what do you do, especially if there's a body on it. Um, but any way you cut it, that seems less convenient to me. So this is definitely the tool of choice, that's why we carry them. So first of all, just get So the first three frets have been done with just steel wool, and they're definitely shinier. They could certainly be shinier. They, they're definitely not looking like stainless steel. They're looking like aged nickel. Um, I go on to the frying for the next three. Um, frying, you're going to want to have a polished cloth. I use a different cloth for stuff like frying as I do for neck oil, as I do for um, polishing. Um, keep them separate because the materials themselves won't react, but the, the polish cloths themselves get really kind of gunky with the oils. Um, the frying is not necessarily the best thing. There are polishing elements in it, so it's not necessarily the best thing for finish. You don't want that dragging over the finish. Therefore, keep a separate rag for each, and, and usually I try and color code them so I know exactly which one it is. Now, frying, we need just tiniest, tiniest amount here. A little really does go a long way with frying. You can actually see how much is coming up off of this neck. That's, that's really, um, Pretty astounding. Um, that's only two frets worth of gunk. They they do look about the same. I'll, I'll say that they do look about the same. But still, given not having iron shavings across both, um, or across my desk, 
that's that's a big plus right there. So now let's move on to doing. Both. So there's step one. Get just a little bit more frying on here so we're dealing with a fresh spot. Try and keep our control group fairly controlled. Using both is definitely better. I, I can see that the the last fret that I did with just the frying hardly got touched. Give that a quick spot. All in all, I, I feel like as I look at this, the frying ones look actually slightly better now that I dig in. They look slightly better than the steel wool. Doing both almost certainly comes out on top. That's if you want to deal with it, but I don't think it's by a lot. I think that I would be able to get by with just the frying on most applications. If it wasn't quite as grungy as this, just the frying would be fine. So Music Nomad Frying is a great product. It will do the job really well on just about anything without having to go to the steel wool and getting the metal shavings all over your, your bench. Um, I would use this on just about everything. If something came in that was really, really messed up and gunky and had been sitting in a corner for a decade in the barn, it would get the steel wool first and then this, but right now, just about everything would get frying first. So this is available right now on moregainmusic.com. Also, Music Nomad Grip Guards. This is the best tool that we have found as grip guards. Uh, if we saw something that was better we'd probably carry it unless it was just too expensive if they made these out of solid gold we probably wouldn't carry them but the extra buck or two for this versus the cheap ones is absolutely worth it also available at moregainmusic.com when we choose products we want to save you the hassle of experimenting and getting the wrong things we want to get you the best this is it that's why we only carry one i'm brian thank you for hanging out our YouTube channel is just getting going in terms of the content like this, but we do have a whole heck of a lot of playlists of both like live stuff that we watch and um, instructional, guitar instructional, studio instructional, anything that we find that's interesting. We do a lot of playlists. We consume a hell of a lot of media here. So uh, go subscribe, check it out, hit the shop, morgainmusic.com. We'll see you soon.